who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil. I'm a top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategies. Subscribe and follow to get tips, tricks, and techniques. All right, this is game two of my novice to grandmaster series um, on capitals. I'm not a proficient capitals player. So, um, I'm learning as I go. This isn't like fixed and progressive where I was already a grandmaster in those styles. Um, I've played probably like 10 global dom capitals games and maybe that many like play with friends games as well. I really like this spot. I think Middle East is a winning spot, but is someone going to hit me the first turn? Don't know. Don't know. White or red. I don't really think either of them have a great shot at it. I think white wants Australia. And red South America. They both have their armies deep enough corners. Like they're going to focus on those things. And I can focus on just getting big. I'll probably have to hit a two my first turn. Green. Jennifer, why'd you place right next to me? 76 hours, 13 and 88. <coughs> She's got a good play for Africa. I get it. Okay. Let's look at red. Red plays his deep in the corner. 91 and 416 with 435 hours. And let's look at white. I like blue's placement. White, 102 hours, 28 and 195. So both of those players are not good, like I suspected, based on their cap spot. Um, Jennifer, I forget how good she was. She's not great either, but I don't hate her cap spot. However, when she gets Africa, she'll be blocked. Mert can. The pink player, 19 hours, 8 and 48. I have not filtered anybody. And Adelaide, Adelaide Yeboa. Wonder if these are some of these are people's real names. One and O. Okay, so blue could be someone who's good and playing on an alt. I could be playing somebody I know from Discord or something. I think. I'm gonna hit this green too. I have another armor right there. I'm gonna add two there, add the rest to my five, make that attack. And you know what? I'm gonna try to use this one because it's gone. It's Gandhi. Okay, this gives me another place to get cards because right now I'm surrounded by twos and threes and stuff, and I don't want to have to hit them all the time. Let's see if green's not smart. How smart they are. Okay, I think I want to add one to the six and just move it around as my place to get cards. My cap is simply located. It has one, two, three, four, five, six places to hit, right? So it's hard to get blocked here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm not messing with Australia, South America, which people go crazy for. Okay, I'm gonna fortify the nine back to their cap. No. If they're really good, they're going to probably add a 1 outside. Or they're going to attack with a 13 and block themselves. I don't think that's the right move. I think you add a 1 to China or your Kush. Add the rest to your cap. Ooh, they're not as good as we thought. What are they doing? Move the 5 into the 7. What do they hit? 
they attacked at three the first turn. I don't think they needed to do that. They still have a strong cap. They're trying to take North America. Okay. I don't really have to add anything to the six. I don't think like it's in danger. But I, I will the next turn if I need to. Yeah, see if I'm blue, I'm stacking, and then I'm I'm spending out all this other stuff that I don't need. Maybe they have a different plan. You have nothing on your cap. You gonna put a three on your cap? I don't know. I feel like maybe white takes your cap right now. Seven v three. So no, it's not with cap. Now they have a two. I could take their cap, but then I have someone. I'm gonna let other people fight over it. I'm thinking about where to first go. I think this is fine. <laughs> I'd like to see people start spending out stuff in North America. However, that opens up only North America to blue. So they're thinking about getting their continent. And they blocked. See, I bet pink would have gotten taken it if they didn't do that. They blocked it. Need a sweatshirt. Okay, what I kind of learned from the last game that I lost just now, this is my second game on my Novice to Grandmaster series. I am 0-1. I was at 534 but I think I will probably move up even though I got third. Is in the beginning of the game, don't get into a battle. I mean, that's the simplest thing in the world, but... I thought I could hold the cap and I mean I knew red was going to attack me for the Australian cap like what else are they going to do So I'll be up in in two minutes, I have to go kill some wasps. I forgot about them all day. Should only take a minute, though. Put it all on your cap, dude. Everything on your cap. Stay alive. There you go. There you go. Okay, I can move my three into my 13 now. That's my next move. Add everything to three, hit the one, <coughs> move it into the 13. I'm already blocked from Australia, so I'm not hurting myself that way. I'll do it quick and go kill these wasps. Okay.
Didn't even miss a turn. Okay. Great. What's happening now? Everybody's pretty strong. I think White could go half seas. Like an eight and an eight. And probably hold that. Like, I'm basically boxed in over here with my extra armies. This is basically a fixed principle. <laughs> By that I mean when you are trying to stack to own an, a continent or stack to create one big army, you spend out all your other troops and put everything on your big army. And that's basically what I'm doing. Why are you hitting pink? Maybe I should put alliances on. So I can be like, yeah, attack, attack my, attack pink. It's fine. Take it. I don't care if you have Africa. They're blocking the kill on red. I mean, that's something I've definitely noticed. I don't know if they're, they know that they're doing that. We will see. It's almost like they're helping Red all of South America on purpose. <coughs> Pink. Botting out. In every Caps game I've seen, there's a lot of bots out, bot outs. So you have to learn to play that as well. Learn to play the bot outs. They're still here. Uh, I think I spend out my three, and I don't think I add to it because I think blue's going to kill it. Well played, they said. 
Oh, because they think they're doing the bot out thing where you pretend to bot out. Hopefully that's not something to do all that. Well. I think 9v4 is 100%, so I can try that. And move it into my army. Because I have to hit a 4 or a 3 anyway. It'd be nice if Red was mad. What are you doing, Ten Nine? Just preventing Blue? Love to see those early trade ins. Nine before it started. You're still here, girl, girls. What's up, man? So they're trying to break wide away because white keeps breaking them white feels like they're in a battle with red it seems like like hey we're the small continent people we need to fight each other always here looks like my computer is still working Tommy. they skipped a card There we go. Some of that was emotional. It's like you did not need to hit my three. Like your blue is just like hitting small stacks all over the place. So when I trade, I might hit their other three. But I don't feel like that's the right play. I feel like that's the emotional play. But the ones that I have to hit. No, I have ones in Europe I can hit for right now. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just keep stacking. Because green chose next to me. Yeah, see how they're they're blocking red? Like are they protecting against red or are they protecting red? Okay. Pink's back in the game. Everybody's breaking each other. <clears throat> this dude is going to want to hold Europe sometime. And he's breaking green. Like, why would green let you hold? That's something you need to think. Like, what do you want in the future? And what actions you take now are going to affect the future? My one is going to be Egypt because... I think that um, green will want to take it back to the hold. So it doesn't block a route for me. We have a very good potential card block on white. If we can get white to like, like two cards or something. like. We could easily take out these eight they have and then just place an army on Siam. But it'd be nice if someone else took out most of those eight troops. And I also don't want to do it when they have cards because then they just hit my stack that I put over there. The trades are pretty low still. I'm just going to take a card and pass. You gotta add one to your three. You don't wanna have no take. You just close your eyes and hit stuff, Curl's eye. Me too, man. 
Me too. Yeah, I'm still going to take the one I was thinking of taking. And I'm hoping blue will eventually kill whatever army this is of, of white. And then we'll have white at like two cards at some point, And I can just card block white and then <clears throat> kill them when the time's right. But that's something I'm, I'm thinking way in the future. Well, now we can't now that they move the army out. Unless you kill the army. Kill the army. In the future. In the future. Could also take red out. I can put red in one place, making it so that they have to hit. So they have to hit green or blue. I have 14. Can I get them both? I could get them both. Seven. I'm going to do red right now. So now red's stuck. They have to punch out if they want to get a card. Maybe they have cards. Maybe they do punch out. And maybe I do that to blue next turn. Maybe I should have done that to blue now. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. You said it too. You would take red's exterior position. Yeah, I think that was a good move. What is going on here? Everybody's still in the game. Yeah. That's the problem with South America when you're playing somebody that has some skills, right? They'll take out your exterior position when it's not too costly for them. And then they'll make you pay. I don't think pink's going to hold because they broke pink earlier. So that's what I'm going to like bank on by not breaking them. Do they, do they hit the nine now? Do they hit the nine? Eighteen. What are they doing with their eighteen? They might just be like trying to have an exterior stack. Nope, they're hitting the nine. If I didn't have green on my border with cards, I could also think about um, trapping blue, making them punch a different direction. But how many cards does blue have? Three? It would need to be a big stack. And I don't have cards. So I just take one and pass, I think, at this point. Red's totally, totally trapped. <laughs> That's why I did that. At this point, he may, might be mad at me, but like by the time he can do anything about it, is he still going to care? White's in good shape, I think, as long as they can keep this exterior 
<coughs> stack. I think they're in pretty good shape. I can take this one or this one. I'm just gonna, just gonna take Egypt. All right. What a thinking man's game. In um, track and field, they call the 5,000 the thinking man's game. It, it's a longer race. Uh, and that's because <clears throat> you have to be strategic with your body. Like, how much do you push when? But, um, yeah. Why would he let you hold it, dude? You didn't let him hold. So hopefully that makes Pink mad and Pink goes all in. Blue has 32. And they'll have four cards. And trades over 20. 25. But they have a 15. So it's like losing 47. I always just add that number. But, and there's a lot to punch through. So... Very threatening. Yeah, so at this point, I don't think killing anybody is on my mind. I mean, red's killable, but green's totally blocking them. Six v three is not a hundred percent if blue decides to do that. And they need to get a card. So I don't suggest that they do that. Because then they're punching 15b9 to get a card. Which would be worth it. But probably kills them. So risky. They're going to punch you right back. You have nowhere else to go. So they're rolling like a 90 something, 90. And, and they're taking the 20% chance that red doesn't have cards. They still in game. So, I mean, it totally wasn't worth it. Blue's worth killing, but I have to punch through so much just to get to blue. 30. If they'd open me from the other side, I could kill blue. White trades again. Card block them. Try single handedly card block them. It's only thirty five, and it's going to cost like forty to kill him. And they're going to punch red back. I think I don't do it. One spot. This is a reversal.
I could also take out green's exterior stack and make them punch pink. Or red eventually. Okay. We have this Cold War going on that's good for everybody except for uh, pink and green. So many troops. And the bad thing is, it's me, green, pink, so somebody else gets to clean up whatever mess is left behind. I think they punch them hard. Whoa! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? That sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. Why would you do that? Do I survive to another turn? I just did nothing all game. Did they misclick? Because they were going for green. How many cards do they have? One? They have one card. I don't think anyone can... Uh, I think... Uh, they're going to get seven troops, 25. White kills me. What the hell? Maybe I should have thought of trading my cards in earlier. Seventeen D six, they're gonna yeah, they they can't kill me. But white can kill me with this eighteen. I don't understand why they would hit me. Like what was the motivation at all? Just chaos? They're offline too. They just punched out of the game. I mean, if you're white, you just try. Adding there is good for me. Adding anywhere else means they might not hit me. I think they need, I think they go here, boom, boom. I think that's your play. Kill me, take my five cards. Or at least try. They're not doing it. Holy smokes, I can't believe that happened. I'm looking at like trading as soon as I can and just trying to survive. Are they gonna try to hit me with a 17v13? Jeez. What happened, Carlza? Like, why did he hit me? Why did he throw his biggest stack into me after he was battling with green? I don't have cards. <coughs> Are they worth killing me over? I don't think they're worth killing me over, but I think people will. Bye. 
if somebody has cards before me, they might hit me. Like, green might kill me just to get me out of the game. You think I survive? I don't know. I could take two caps. I don't even think I take two caps. I think I just sit and wait for the game to progress. What happened? How does this happen? I think about killing a little while ago, but they traded in. Red is card blocked. <coughs> and then the dude just left. Does he throw him into blue? So what I think Red should have done is punched all the way out and put another stack in somewhere. He's like, I want out of here. You gotta give me a card. Okay. I need to have cards on four for sure. For sure, for sure. White, I think White could have killed me. Yeah, I hope they were. So Curly thinks that Red and Blue will eventually go to war. My tell him well played. I didn't take that cap because I need to just survive right now. I think I kill pink now. And get the trade and go back to my cap. Oh no, they're gonna, do it. they're gonna try. Red can't. White maybe can if they have a trade. I think I come through. Kill pink. And then chill. They have 35 on their cap. Red's not worth it. They could probably... They could... Mm. Yeah, because the cards are worth 50, so it's regular progressive because they don't have a cap. Let's see if white can kill pink if they have cards. Because if not, I just kill them without even trading. And then you get the trade from them and put them all. Yeah, they have they have cards. They kill pink, I bet. Okay, do I have? Cards? I have cards. I tr I use my trade. They get another trade of fifty. They'll have like twenty five. Fifty-five. Are they gonna try to kill me again? No. They blocked their stack. Blue has ninety, red has seventy, green has seventy two.
I have 117, but I'm going to lose an additional 37. It's a close kill on red. Too close, and the cards aren't worth it. That's a losing move. Yep, this is my play. Just stack and hope. I see red, but I think it's a losing play at this point. Because you lose too much from hitting this 37, right? If it was just 70, I would kill them for 60. But it's not going to be 70. It's going to be over 100. Maybe if they have five cards, you can trade and then trade again. The next turn. And just not take the cap. I don't know. My cap's pretty strong, though. I definitely have the strongest cap on the board. But green's right there with me. They traded. What are they going to use their trade to do? Strengthen the cap. Smart. Trying to think about the next one I hit. I think it's north up because it doesn't block me. Good. They opened me up a little. I'm not sure why they're attacking more. Look at this. I'm kind of like right with people, even after that terribleness that happened to me. I cannot believe I survived. I cannot believe it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are trades worth? They have 65 cap down cap. 75? Okay. We have a player gone. We have two players. Thanks. And I have five cards. So I'm in a good place. Okay. Fill up my water bottle. Hopefully no one kills me.
Oh, shoot. I've been muted for a little while. Okay. Yeah, I think that was a bad move by Green. I think they just lost too many troops. So I need to just sit and chill and let people forget about me. That's what I need to do. Does white hit green? Green's gonna look pretty tasty in a little bit. I just need to keep getting a card. No, they don't hit them. They're going for Asia. They will hit them in the future. I bet they move off of their cap. I don't have cards, so I just take I take one and pass. Take one and pass. Take one and pass. Well, they move some back to their cap. Cards are worth 95. And only... Nobody can take my cap. Maybe Red will punch Green's cap. We will see. We will see. I'm not in a terrible place because I'm going to get cards. Not yet. I can't believe I don't card them four. That's how you lose games. <coughs> Is Green going to get the bright idea to like punch me? Okay, red has 95. Punch green, punch green, punch green. Punch them hard. Take the other one too. Take the other one too. I don't think I can kill green. Yet. The red's looking pretty strong. And then they chill because they have 77 but most of them are on the cap so it probably i'm definitely gonna let them get one more card that's for sure <laughs> but conceivably um when i do have cards i could block red in i could come through and kill green and put two stacks oh no i'm good at 77. Look at the white protecting their cap like that. Is green still online? Yeah, green's still online. Let's see what green does in retaliation. Because now these two should be enemies. It's not worth killing green yet, you don't think? Yeah, you're right. Especially with this 77 right here. This bot is getting crazy. Why wouldn't green break red? Green's not breaking red at all. So when white does punch this 42, when they get cards, then maybe I kill green. But red has so many on there. 
on their cap. I really want to break them, break red. But then they'll stop focusing on each other and focus on me. That's five troops, right? When they're going to be hitting caps. There's a lot of waiting in caps. I'm going to abandon that cap. We think red kills them. It'd be crazy if white came back again if that happened two games in a row. I'm definitely going to hit the five. Seventy six, where's that going? This bot is gonna be big trouble. We need to be able to manipulate the bot. Right down into red. No, it wants to take the on it. I think I want to see red punch green. And they could probably even kill them. But then I think I could probably like use the bot to my advantage. Because I could kill green. It wouldn't be an instant trade though. Probably That'd probably be the, ending, the death of me if I kill green. Letting them hold this time. I think red kills you. Kills you and takes your cards. And then I'm in a 1v1. They're thinking about it. I don't see them going offline. <laughs> <coughs> They're winning the game. Yeah, they're killing you. They're killing green. So how do I block in red? 93. Interesting. Taking a trip. in there. I think he's just opening up the bot is what he was doing. Okay, break him. This bot doesn't break. Okay, eventually. 
Do I go take that cap? I think so. Doesn't need to be super strong, a 70 will probably do it, and then I can chill. Okay. We will see. These games tonight are pretty long. I actually, the ones I've played have been like 45 minutes. And I've been playing for an hour and 45 minutes. So I'm, this one doesn't look like it's about to end. to hit a 19. I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a 1 to hit somewhere. Punching out. Trying to give himself places for cards. It's good. I don't really care too much about the Australia bonus. In fact, it might be good if this bot like hugs it, so then I have this um, protected cap. Yeah, so now my cap's protected. The only problem is that bot wants this cap. The cards are worth enough <coughs> for it to take this cap. So maybe I abandon the cap. AP4, no, I'm do this. Seventy-three troops that bot has. It has so many troops, and it's not. <coughs> it's not going to get better. Yeah, this is longer. I think. Dude, bought it out with a ton of troops. If Red had like two cards, I might put a stack here in Central America. And just because green can't hit me, Red has to punch through. <coughs> so um, I could probably get away with, with that and making these guys deal with this front of the bot. But doing it now just means that they punch whatever stack I put there. Do I want to hit a 32? Not really. Do I want to roll 8v7? Not really. Do I want to trade in my cards? Not really. I don't like any of my options.
So I hit a 13. Our troops are getting so high that it doesn't really matter. I don't think this bot will ever be worth hitting. Like, actually, like, taking out. I really thought red and green were going to go to war more, too. We're all having to hit the bot each turn. Three hundred and sixty troops. And the trades are only worth one forty. Cause I really want to just get rid of this bot and just play these two. I can get a card right here. So many turns. I do get first dibs on the bot if he has five cards. I don't know if five cards is going to be worth it any time because he'll keep getting trades. He'll keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Too bad all this bot wants is continents. Because it's not breaking. So that's nice. Red doesn't have a trade. We're trying to make them punch through big armies. And then maybe the bot will be worth killing someday. I thought they were going to go take the cap. There you go, trapped again, Red. Trapped again. I really would like to win this game. I'd hate to start 0-2, but maybe that's how good I am at caps. There you go. You gonna punch me? Oh, you didn't like that, did you?
Let's see what the bot does. It's got so much in Asia. But I have this easy takedown in Australia if I need it. Okay, here's what I need to know. Card number 155. So I believe Red will probably punch me. Do I want them to punch me? Taking Australia is not worth it. You get to a turn and there's 50 troops there. Green's blocked. Not trading. Okay. Maybe they didn't have a trade. Yeah, this is weird. Like, manipulating this board is, is very different. So I'm still learning. Curl is saying that he's still bad at capital, but I, it's something that, like, if I want to call myself good at the game, I need to get good at this. And what better way to do it than do, like, a novice to grandmaster series? <sighs> I think the bot is gonna. Well, not this turn or not. I feel like a lot of this is just fatigue. Who's like, all right, I'm gonna go watch TV. Please hit that. Please hit that. No, they're not. I wonder if Red was opening up green to hit me with that one move they did. I should probably punch their stack since they're off cap. Yeah. Be nice if Green would help me block them. That's what I that's what I've gathered from watching Caps players is if there's a stack off cap, you hit it to reduce their troops. You get the attacker's advantage. Everybody here is just chilling though. You want these continents so bad. Hit my ones, dude. Hit them all. Come on, come on, hit them all. 
I have cards for days. Days. Increasing territory is interesting. Trying to get trying to get a lead that way. Might be the right move. Okay. Nice. There's got to be a strategy here that can help me win. <coughs> All right, anybody that's watching this, give me advice. I'm still a baby. I've watched people play caps, but greens leaving themselves open to me. Protecting both caps. My hope is that red tries to take greens caps sometime. And then maybe I can get green out of the game at an opportune time. The bot does not seem to want Australia. Okay, it moved. Red has five cards right now, so messing with red at the, <coughs> the moment, not a great idea, but I conceivably could block them again, make them punch through something, but this one up here and this one over here, like, I have to play a bunch of ones. So what is green hitting out of They hit a big stack? No, they hit that. Okay. I think they want red to hit their stack. The funny thing is, red was playing wild earlier, and now they've just sat on their caps. Sat on their caps. Voice screen would help me block red. Six hundred some troops. Holy moly.
right. Feels like a stalemate. This green cap has access to my cap, so they might get the idea of hitting it sometime. They haven't made a move like that. Hit the nine now. I do not lock my cap. So maybe white will punch over. I don't know. Oh man. The bot is staying big because of cards, because it's progressive cards. And at no point in time is the bot going to be worth killing, I don't think. Take his cap. Take his cap. If you hit him harder, I would think about killing white. Wow, so much now. <coughs> In Australia, I'm going to have to start hitting bigger stacks. I've done a good job of not having <coughs> to hit big stacks, but now I don't think I can. AV3 is 100%. I can just do this this turn. There's got to be a strategy, right? There's got to be a reason why people win so often. Hit a 60-something. To go take my cap? I don't think this is your move. I don't know what this gets you. Get you last. Get you away from red. Get you away from red. A red of three caps is getting super large. He weakened both of us, and then this person now has almost twice as many as us, which would be super significant.
I wish it wasn't so expensive to get over to them. Yeah, it's so expensive to get to them. Take one of the reds caps. Gonna punch me. Just punch me out of the game. No. Just hit red. Awesome. Awesome. That's so good. Now I can have two caps again. Red's gonna take that cap, but then what? I mean, are you gonna move some over? I'm not going to let you hold that cap. So I think I go take that cap. Unless the bot takes it. If the bot takes it, that's fine too. It's a good game. That's funny. Um, Stop me. There we go. There we go. Things are all right. Things are all right. Punch red some more. Do it. What's up, Doobie J? Yeah, caps, man. Bot caps need to be improved. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Green just went crazy and hit both of us like mad. Otherwise, it was like stalemating. So I don't know. Um... Might be okay. I wish I could get Red out of the game, but Red's playing really well. This game's been going on a long time. Hitting everything I own. One card. Do I have a trade? I do have a trade. So, I break red, leave an army there, and they have to punch out. Nice. I really just need like a 40. They have to punch through a bunch to get either way. Did 
Do I want to be here in the middle or over on the edge with these? So I'm making red punch to get cards. And then I might retreat. I make green punch to get cards too. Like going right here with a stack. Yep, you got one. Is it worth a hundred troop risk? Good. And I have a one to hit. Nice. Nice. Hopefully red doesn't have cards. He's trading. Is he going to hit my stack? He might. He might hit a cap. He's been cap hit punching. Oh, snap. He's going to hit my 100. Fair enough. Or she's better. Opening up red. Big move opens up red. I get it. It's just not fair. I've been thinking a lot about how my main strategy in the tournament is going to be who spawns next to the bot cap. Yeah, that is big. Taking the bot cap is big. Do I have cards? Yes. They are two thirty. <coughs> I'm definitely going to take green out of this corner and probably not trade fairly easy route to both of their caps, but they have a fairly easy route to to one of my caps. So green's getting low because of all their attacks, which their attacks are cool. I like it. Still have a one to take at the <coughs> moment. Quite a few ones. See, they're trying to <coughs> increase their advantage by getting a few troops, but the trades are so high. Um, I have to punch through an extra 70, 40, and 65 to get to this cap down here. At the end of the game, I can foresee like this cap being pretty stuck.
not trading right now. Just taking a one and pass. See if uh no, I wanna be here. Okay. Gonna use the restroom again. Long, long game. Crazy. Opening up the world. <coughs> I get it. Opening up the world. Thousand troops. This is why people don't like caps. Because you end up in this game where it's very stalemating. Could probably kill green. That doesn't win me the game. I have a 420 on that cap. Nice. I took a long time on that turn. I just think that there's there's got to be something you can do, but I'm, it's eluding my mind. <clears throat> I've made a few moves, but they weren't like winning moves. So much of this just seems like it's bored up. Like who gets bored first? Like, when does Red decide to hit that cap? We have a bot with a thousand troops. When I have cars, I'm punching that seven seventy six. If I have cards this turn, I can like 
completely block this guy. But red or green always messes with that. Yep, that was a good call. You only have two cards. Broken. We're pretty stuck there. Yeah, so this is an easy play, right? Okay, I think that was a good move. It's a forcing move. Now you hit my stack. Oh no, you're punching white. Thanks. That was nice. It was nice to hit white like that. Does red win the game because of it? Is red fast enough to win the game because of it? I am. Jeez, there's so many cards on the table. Did he just hand the game to Red? I think that's fast enough to win the game. A cap? I'm going to kill them both. My go. Boom. Boom. Come through. Kill them both. And then what? And then we'll 1v1 with red. I don't think he's fast enough to get all of green. Alright. It's my time to shine. Six cards on the board. Then I leave like, a barrier when I can.
I guess I went again. Just need to be smart about it. I have cards that I can take. He has cards. Okay. But he'll give me places to get cards. Come back and, and stop and punch out with this 595. And then he punches out my card block. That's how I win the game. Okay. Oh, hey, um, let's see what you doing. Yeah, that's a problem. Hey, Phil, nice to see you again. How you doing? Good, Nuclear. How you doing, man? Where's my weakest tab? It's there. <clears throat> okay, so now I have to punch out with this cap, and I will set up a card block. Put a hundred on Southern Europe, Western Europe, and then just follow them around. And then the game is over. Got 20 points in the first round? That's awesome. I need to go fast. I think he moves back to his cap now. I can know I hit him. You know what? I can use his other army probably if he moves out back to his cap. those back on that cap just in case he ever out. card blocked the game only lasted 20 minutes fix only lasted 20 minutes <coughs> good game
Yeah. You know what I think when you play these long caps games, you're like, green still here? Still blocked, so I can maneuver after him. Now he's offline. Okay, but once he moves off the cap, I just take the cap and win. Uh, do we think he's gonna stay offline? Do this move. Make it watch out. Did anybody take that game nuclear? There. Now I have a hundred percent roll. Maybe it takes this sixteen though. Shoot. Leaves a hundred seventeen. Fortify off. I think I have it. I think I have the 100% <coughs> right now. Okay, two games. Third and first. Um, so let's see what that's done. It's novice to Grandmaster. Okay, so he was a master. White was an intermediate that bought it out. This person was um, a good player, I felt like, and she stuck around. Um, so two intermediates, a master, a novice, <coughs> and a beginner. Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't make me watch an ad. Still a beginner, 294, 723. So after two games, I went from 534, 049. To 294 723. All right, subscribe and follow.